um, I use a term um, that says play is hard work because very often parents come into the center and say, but what are kids doing? They're not learning, they're just playing. And uh, nobody understands how much play contributes to later academic achievement and life success. So just to give you a few examples, um, you know, I was, I was talking to Sachin Tendulkar whose kids were going to Kangaroo Kids and I asked him, what is the, um, where does your success come from? Uh, is there anything you can uh, sort of pin down to uh, the younger years when you were growing up? Anything that you can contribute, uh, that, that anything that actually contributed to who you are today? And he said, you know, his grandfather used to play with him with a ball that used to be strung from the, um, from the door uh, frame. And he used to, his whole thing was, you know, the grandfather used to throw the ball and he used to keep hitting the ball. And he said, by doing that, um, I learned, I started learning to see the ball very, very early. So one of my key uh, um, success uh, reasons are, is that when the ball leaves the bowler's hand, um, where, where other cricketers may take some while, some uh, batsmen, sorry, some batsmen may take some while to read the play of the ball, I read it very early on. And um, so when the ball leaves the bowler's hand, I know exactly where it's going to hit and what's going to happen with it. So, and all this comes from, from play. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm always talking to parents, uh, uh, telling them that, you know, when you just watch a child doing a simple activity, such as threading beads, um, it's actually a pre-reading activity. Um, first year, of course, everybody knows it's uh, developing your uh, fine motor control and your pincer muscles, which leads to later on uh, handwriting. But it also, um, you know, we give children cards where they have to read red, red, blue, red, red, what comes next. And the kids are actually reading the beads and threading it way before they're actually reading alphabets. So that's also a form of reading, which is learning to identify um, print images, etc., etc. It's one of the reasons why uh, kids can read McDonald's before they even know the alphabet, or Coca-Cola before they can, before they even know the alphabet. They actually read the image. So we're working with getting kids to read images before they actually start knowing the alphabet and reading words. I'll give you an example of tangrams, um, um, just, you know, different colored shapes and, um, but we do all sorts of things with this. We create images of duck and ducks and boats and, and things like that with, with the color codes and kids actually read the color, they read the shape um, and it's what we call figure ground discrimination. It, it adds to your visual discrimination, which again is all about reading later on and of course logical thinking.